Okay, we're going to do a very quick video about how to uh, multiply integers with using algebra tiles from a conceptual standpoint. We're going to start with this, the standard uh, positive times a negative, then we'll move to a negative times a positive, and finally a negative times a negative. So when you do a uh, positive times a negative, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, we just liter literally interpret what is uh, on the, uh, in the question. So we have three groups of negative two, and so you can just bring those in. There's one group of negative two, two groups of negative two, and three groups of negative two. Um, so all together, we end up with negative six. Now, when we look at the second question, negative two times positive four, we certainly could talk about the commutative property of multiplication and just swap the two as a positive times a negative. But what we want to do is we want to set up uh, how we're going to do a negative times a negative. And we're going to do that by using this field of zeros here. And the field of zeros is basically just that, uh, pairs of algebra tiles that add up to zero. So in this case, there's a bunch of pairs that uh, add up to zero. And so we're going to interpret exactly what this multiplication uh, question represents. So what you might say is negative two groups of four, but that doesn't quite make sense. So what we're going to say instead is subtract uh, two groups of four from our field of zeros. So um, here's one group of, uh, sorry, that's negative. Uh, so two groups of positive four. There's one group of positive four. And then here's a second group of positive four. We've taken those out of our field of zeros and we've actually subtracted them. So we're literally getting rid of them. And so what do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the negative tiles uh, left out of our field of zeros. And so our answer is negative eight. write that a little bit here, so negative 8. So again, what we did is we subtracted two groups of positive 4 from that field of zeros, and the field of zeros is infinite, so we can continue to subtract things from it uh, as, as much as we want. So now let's take a look at what a negative times a negative would look like. So now we look at negative 3 times negative 5, uh, or negative 3 groups of negative 5, but of course we're not going to say that. Um, we're going to state that a different way. So if you want, pause the video right now and think about how we would state this, uh, this multiplication in the same way we did the previous question. So in this case, we're going to subtract three groups of negative 5 from our field of zero. So let's do that. So here's uh, going to be one group of the negative five. There's one. Let's do another group of negative five. There's a second group of negative five. And a third group of uh, negative five here. So there we've um, subtracted three groups of negative five. Uh, and since we're subtracting them, we're literally going to get rid of them. We're going to take them off the page. So there's our three groups of negative five removed, gone. And so what do we have left? Here's what we have left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, as we would expect, positive 15 um, uh, tiles there. And so that's how you uh, multiply integers using a field of zeros.